Oh, hello there. I'm Mr Perkins. I'm one of the engine drivers here on the island of Sodor. Sometimes I even drive Thomas, but he's working far away. I was just imagining what it would be like to work somewhere foreign. On the mainland, there's a very big city called London. I've been there on my holiday. Gordon's been there too. He didn't like it much, though. There's a story about that in one of these books. Ah, yes, here it is. It's called Gordon Goes Foreign. Sometimes engines from the mainland visit Sodor. Gordon was talking to one of them. When I was young, he said, I remember going to London. Do you know the place? The station's called King's Cross. King's Cross, snorted the engine from the mainland. London's Euston. Everybody knows that. Rubbish, said Duck. London's Paddington. I know, I work there. Gordon and Duck were still arguing about which station was London. I'm sure it's King's Cross, said Gordon. I'll go and prove it. One day, when he pulled the express to the big station, a porter ran over and spoke to Gordon's driver. The engine for the express has turned over. They want you to take the train to London. Fine, said the driver. We'll show them what Sir Topham Hatt's engines can do. Come on, said Gordon, let's go. We're going to town, we're going to town, sang the coaches. Gordon found that London was a long, long way away. The next day, the station master came running in with the newspaper. Excuse me, sir, have you seen the news? Why, asked Sir Topham Hatt. Famous engine at London Station. Police call to control crowds. Sir Topham Hatt smiled. When Gordon returned, Sir Topham Hatt asked him if he had enjoyed himself. No, sir, I didn't, said Gordon. London's all wrong. They've changed it. It isn't King's Cross anymore. It's St Pancras. <laughs> Gordon didn't realise that in the big cities, they often have lots of stations, not just one. <laughs> but to me, the best stations in the world are the ones right here on Sodor, on Sir Topham Hatt's Railway. Goodbye. See you again soon. Thomas was pulling a goods train across the Sahara. It was very hot and dry in the desert, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Pulling trucks in the hot sun was thirsty work. Thomas's water tank was as dry as old sticks. And that's when he saw a long line of strange-looking animals.